uh, my mother asked that this question be asked. So for her, I'm asking the question. Mm -hmm. For Nirmala. Mm -hmm. It's a typical... Oh, never mind. <laughs> if life was supposed to be the play of the gods, why are so many people so miserable? Mm -hmm. When I am compassionate, I can feel sorry for everyone, king or commoner, old or young, rich or poor. This world does not seem to be much of a playground for most people. What went wrong with God's plan? Or where is that joy you speak of? Most people never experience it. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Life is not the play of the gods, but you are playing with the gods. Hmm? So on this soccer field or football field or whatever you call it, uh, you mess around 22 people or whatever you have in it, you know, on both sides or whatever and you toss the ball around and you blame it on the gods. The gods have nothing to do with the ball of your life and neither your... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. So to repeat again, the gods are not playing around with you. You are playing around with the gods, the various energies that be. Now, to play around can be made into great fun. Hmm? It could be very, very pleasurable. But if you get into conflicts with these energies, you can be kicked where you should not be. And you get taken off the field of life. So you are playing around with the gods, gods, the gods, which means energies are not playing around with you. It depends so much on the energies that you use and how you use them, how you kick your balls, uh, uh, the ball. So life is a game. It will always remain a play. It's a game that can be controlled by you. I would play a soccer game for the sake of the play. Not to, sc to score 20 goals. If my intention is in scoring more and more goals, I will lose the pleasure of the play itself. So what is important? The importance lie in the play of life. And when one plays a life well, throw the dice. Whatever numbers come up, so what? Have you got any control over it? You have control over throwing the dice, yes. But have you got any control hmm? on the numbers that turn up? You don't, unless your dice, dices, dice, dice are loaded. So don't load yourself with things which are 
totally unnecessary. The greatest problem man has in life is that they load themselves with things which are unnecessary. They load themselves with it. Hmm? And when you throw your dice, you expect number seven or number eleven or something, I don't know. You, know. you expect it to come up. Why expect it to come up? Because you want to win. And what are you really winning? Nothing at all. Those few bucks you make means nothing. Play for the sake of playing. Hmm. And be guided by what happens. Don't worry in which direction the ball turns, uh, but go after it. Now what does that mean? It means your duty in life. Go after the ball and do not worry about the goal. But try and kick it hard enough so that the goal can be scored. So, this of course in turn would mean that life is a striving and the harder you strive, hmm? the better life could become. But people strive so much in wrong directions. If they should strive and put greater effort in the proper direction, hmm, towards that towards those energies of the gods. So, there are two factors here, as the question has asked. There are these gods, and there are no gods really. You're all gods, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm? But there are these energies. So, there are energies and there's the play of life. Now the secret would be how to combine the energies with the play of life. And to form a perfect balance requires spiritual practices where you capture those energies in the play of life. And the play of life captures in turn those energies depending how you play. Yes. See. Life is a game, but for many it's such a shame Play the game of life well for your own happiness. Don't worry about the goal so much yet. Hmm? That am I going to score the goal or not? Don't worry about it. Play the game well and the goal will automatically be scored.